So how do you play Archer Gang in Rise of Kingdoms? I'm Shinji42, your Archer Gang. In this video, we're gonna tell you my experiences with Archer Gang and why you should probably consider playing with Archers. So just to let you guys know, I've been playing with Archers since the beginning of my account. The history of this is that I really wanted to get Richard with my jumping project and I didn't get Richard and I got Yi Song Ye instead. And you know what? I was like, man, sucks. And for those who have followed me before, raise your hands, type in a comment below. You remember how mad I was that I didn't get Richard. But in the long term of that, I was actually lucky that I got Yi Song Ye. Because with Yi Song Ye, whenever we played on defense, I was killing a lot of you know troops out there because of the um, arrows once we had him expertise. So short story, um, I wanted Richard, I got Yi Song Ye, so I started working on Yi Song Ye. So it was kind of an unplanned destiny with me and Archer Gang. So moving on from there, um, I continued to play with Archer Gang and I worked on El Cid because during that time that was a combination. It was um, Yi Song Ye and El Cid, we were defending flags with those combination, we were rallying with that. and successful we've uh, we've done great things with that i mean let's take a look into el cid's kill 4 million point eight let's take a look into my yi song yes kill 34 million i was wondering you know how many kills do other players have with their yi song ye i mean i have 34 million kills who has more than me who is a better archer gang and um, since we're there, since I've used a lot of Edward, let's take a look at Edward. Only 25 million kills. And let's take a look at Ramses during this KVK. 1.7 million kills only. How about Artemisia? 766k kills only. Wow. So um, what can you gather from this um, information then? <laughs> Even though we did a lot of defense with Artemisia, we didn't get a lot of kills. But um, I did some rallies with Ramses and we had a tremendous amount of kills for one KVK alone. Now, keep in mind, I didn't rally a whole lot as well. Um, compared to my previous runs with Edward, you know, I've rallied a lot more with Edward from previous KVK. This KVK, a lot of, you know, Attila and Takeda rallies were being launched compared to Archer rallies. Now, um, to get back into, you know, what is it like to play with archers? Playing with archers is very, very difficult. You have to be smart. Now, what I do is I play short distance fighting. Uh, you guys, I've talked about this before and you guys would have seen it before as well in my battles. I would either hide in my city, I would port close, or I would hide in a flag and come out and just attack them and come back and then go back home. Refresh. Playing with archers, archers are very squishy. Um, you don't want to have your archers health to be below yellow. The, the reason for that is the lower your health bar goes, the more casualty you get. So you want to refresh it more often than, than not. So once you refresh as well, you got to start healing your troops. Do it in batches if you need to. Now, um, I, one thing that I've done in the previous um, KVKs is using Yi Song Ye as a primary and then you can either put um you know el cid or even uh, edward of woodstock now why are you gonna put edward of woodstock right as a secondary you're not getting the benefit of the uh, you know direct damage factor here 2500 now the reason for that is during that time i didn't have ramses so what i would do is i would use yi song ye and edward of woodstock and i would just cast yi song ye's primary skill now you're wondering what the heck what does that mean what i do is i attack them with the arrows and do the AOE splash damage. Now, why am I putting Edward of Woodstock? Well, the reason for that is because of the skill damage bonus, 25%. That was my entire goal. And also, I have health bonus, right? I'm increasing my health for my archers with Edward of Woodstock. So even with my little damage, with the arrows to inflicting everybody, my troops are having a high health meaning I would have lesser casualty compared to my opponents. Plus, I'm hitting them with my active skill, and then I go back home, so they can't cast their active skill on me. That's a smart play. Now, um, in comparison now that I had Ramses, what I've done is playing with Ramses and Yi Song Ye. Now, sometimes I still use Yi Song Ye and uh, Ramses as secondary. The reason why is because I want to have the primary commander skill to cast first, so I can have that rain of arrows and I can get back home. Now, why would I even put Ramses as a secondary sometime? 
The reason why is because we have 40% attack bonus in here. And then also, if I do get hit by skill because I was slow, I'm able to tank it a little bit, right? Now, in marching speed bonus as well, I can get back home whenever they're attacking me faster. And as well as I have the chance to heal my troops so I don't get a lot of casualty now. So what is really the biggest difference between these two commanders? Because some of their skills in here are quite similar, right? So as you can see with um, Edward Woodstock, he has set 40% at archer attack bonus. But the only problem here is that he has to maintain a 70% strength. With Ramses, you don't have to. It's passive while you're on the map. Now, Edward Woodstock has a higher health compared to Ramses, but with Ramses, you do get a more tankier build due to able to um, tank the skill. Um, typically, you fight a lot of calves, and using Ramses, you're able to reduce the damage taken from the skills of the calves, so which is really good. And um, archers are relatively weak from calves, right? So the counter of troops. And when you are getting hit, you're also having a chance to get a marching speed for your archers. 10% chance, keep that in mind. Now, this skill damage taken reduction by 30%. That's passive there, okay? Now, another thing in here is that with Ramses, you do get healing and plus 40% defense bonus. So... Um, if I'm going to summarize Ramses and Edward, because I just had a message today on Facebook and saying like they don't know uh, how to invest on a Commander right now between these two because they're both very, very good and I have both of them. What I like with Ramses is that you definitely are tank here in the field. All right? You can last much longer, but your damage infliction is not as much. But you have to think about Ramses as a um, attacker slash, um, what do you say, uh, support, I would say. Because he's able to reduce a target's defense, right, by 30% in two seconds. Um, what happens in here is that you really need to play, I mean, with playing with archers, you need to play with a group. And with Ramses, whoever you're targeting and, and somebody targets that, their defense is going to reduce by 30%. And what's going to happen with that opponent is that they're going to be really, really weak and you can eliminate them with your group, of course. Um, and also, with, you have expertise in here. They cannot receive any healing for two seconds. So what's great with Ramses is that he is great for commanders that has any, any healing, okay? So even Cavs commander have healing. So using Ramses going against them, you have a little bit of a fighting chance. Um, the problem with Ramses is that he is not as strong in damage wise compared to Edward of Woodstock. So as you can see, even the power rating of the commanders in here, Edward of Woodstock has a higher power rating compared to Ramses. Now, the, the reason why, because Edward of Woodstock is definitely by far among all of the archers right now has the strongest damage, but... With Edward of Woodstock, he doesn't have any defensive measure in here. Although he has some health benefit and marching speed benefit, he is not as tanky as Ramses. Ramses having that skill reduction and as well as increasing its defense and healing makes him tankier in the field. But with Edward of Woodstock, if he's not being targeted into the field, he can definitely create havoc. Keep in mind that Edward Woodstock has a increased damage towards infantry units. So, um, you're in the debate to whether you should be getting uh, Ramses or Edward Woodstock. So here's my final verdict. If you are going to be playing into the open field a lot, I would rather, rather for you to choose Ramses because Ramses is tankier, you can tank with the skill damage, and you can cast a skill faster. With Edward Woodstock, it takes forever for the skill to cast. So, Ramses is the final verdict if I'm going to suggest something for open field. Now, civilization. I would suggest for you to switch into Ottoman than Britain if you're doing Ramses because you will have extra marching speed with Ottoman. Because Ramses don't really have a marching speed unless he's being attacked. So he's kind of slow. With Edward, he's a little bit faster, right? So he's got the marching speed bonus in here, right? Whenever he's on a field. So I kind of talked about these two a lot right now. Um... My investment strategy for you guys is to definitely get Yi Songye 
most likely just go and skip El Cid if you're not a whale. If you're going to be fighting on open field. Um, get Edward if you can. And then get Ramses. This is probably my best suggestion to you guys. Now you only have three, so it's an odd number, right? You can get Artemisia if you can, if you're free to play. Now if you're a whale, definitely get everything if you can. Um, for free to play, uh, and maybe lower spender in the long term, if you're trying to really set your mind into archers, I would suggest these three commanders. YSG, Edward, and um, Ramses. Now what you can do in here is that you can use these three commanders plus an epic commander, maybe like Herman or even Kosunoki, but I prefer Herman better. You can even do a um, Ramses and Herman. And the reason for that is with Herman, you can gain rage. So we want that uh, because of Edward Woodstock, you know, kind of slow on casting. So what you can do is Ramses and YSG and then Edward Woodstock and Herman. Now, if you're a whale, like I said, just get everything, okay? Um, the biggest thing in here, what I can tell you right now, if you're going to be rallying with Ramses or Edward Woodstock, I've done this before um, in the KVK, and if I find the report, I'll show you right now. Um, I actually did an Edward of Woodstock with Ramses secondary, and it turned out very well. So here's our report. I actually found it. So here's a battle report with Edward and Ramses. So there's only about 60k differences with the troops for the casualty in here. Um, so I calculated the deads and also the severely wounded. Now look at the power, right? With that 60k troops, there's a big gap on power. The reason why is that they had more T5. And uh, typically when we were fighting with them and we were running with uh, mostly T4, uh, we had a lot of reinforcement. I don't remember how much reinforcement they had, but they were intense on reinforcing as well. I don't think we finished this rally because they kept on reinforcing and at some point we were shorter um, on the stick end with reinforcement and I don't think we were able to burn the flag in this, this round. But um, when we canceled this, um, you can still see that we did much better in here, in my opinion. Um, I canceled about you know 1.3 million and they had about 1.8 million in here. So <laughs> look at the difference, right? You have to think about the you know the reports in here. What what happened? Um, in my opinion, I think this combination is quite deadly. Um, if we only had fair enough reinforcement, I believe in the long term of that we would have won and we would have smashed them. But unfortunately, that's not the case of what happened in our KVK. Um, Pairing Edward of Woodstock and Ramses is definitely strong against infantry. Like I said, their, in their reinforcement game was much better than us. Therefore, our report didn't really reflect a lot into this combination. Now, between that two, I've given you the final advice anyway. If you're going to be doing rallies, you definitely want to get Edward of Woodstock, right? Edward is definitely deadly. Um, but if you're going to be investing on only one, I would just go and tell you to go for Ramses instead. Now, should you invest on Artemisia? Um, you know what? If you are going to play on defense, I would say definitely get Artemisia. But if you're F2P, I would rather for you to get Ramses instead. Artemisia for whales, what I would suggest for you guys to do is do a defense. Um, this is my defense talent tree that we've used with Wu Chetian. Now... I'm going to change a whole set in here. Is that we're not going to be running with archers anymore. What you're going to be doing is we're going to be running with infantry. Archer commander with infantry units. There is no archer buff in this talent tree. You're mainly focused on garrison and defense. And you're running with infantry. You're, you're like you're crazy Shen. I am crazy a little bit in here. But... I was talking to our player here, Slink, and um, kind of got into this conversation. Um, at first, I was suggesting Constantine and Artemisia. Probably not the best idea, but probably doable. Um, with Constantine, though, the support trees... I, I was never a big fan of support tree. Um, I always liked a defense tree, and um, we kind of aligned to our conversation. So, um, what the great thing in here is that you're running infantry with mostly on defense talent tree and then garrison talent tree and your infantry will get this buff 40 percent health bonus insane right insane 40 percent health bonus now you're gonna say okay so what's gonna happen with the archers with artemisia 
I'm losing the Archer Defense bonus 20%. I'm losing the Archer Health bonus by 20%. Big deal, right? And that's it. That's pretty much it that you're going to be losing from Artemisia. Only one skill. And, you know, you may say that's a lot. But, you know what? This is already like 40%. I mean, that's a lot of health bonus. Plus, the great thing with Constantine is that I can reduce the damage received from Cavs. So, who's going to be rallying you most of the time? It's going to be Attila and Takeda. So, works well for me, right? Works well. Um, since I have the coin, if I get rallied by any um, skill commander, I will also have a skill damage taken reduction in here. So keep in mind that um, this is not going to work if you don't have the shield, okay? You don't have the coin. Um, as well as one of the great things in here that I want to say is that the expertise of Constantine, right? Increased troop attack by 15% also defense. Your entire infantry march there is going to be legit tough. And it can really tank Attila and Takeda. I am calling it out now that that will be the insane meta going against Attila and Takeda. I think that's just going to be wonderful. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I haven't tested it yet, but um, I'm sure somebody will test it now that we've made this video. And I would love for you guys to PM me and share me the report. Um, maybe other content creators might actually try doing that as well. But I really, really think that that's going to be an insane combination. Now, let's not forget about Tommy Riss. Should you actually try to get Tommy Riss? If you're not getting... Edward of Woodstock, I wouldn't really recommend for you to get Tommy Riss. Um, if you do have Ramses, Tommy Riss works well if you already have Tommy Riss. But I would really suggest that you have Edward of Woodstock with Tommy Riss rather than Ramses with Tommy Riss. Now, I've done Ramses and Tommy Riss. It worked out well. Um, still deadly. The reason why I do some of those stuff combination sometimes is because i want to have a tankier march so if you are a free to play or low spender um i wouldn't really recommend for you to invest on tommy Riss. instead just skip tommy Riss. if you are a whale uh you know it's a very very helpful commander to have tommy Riss because if you're an archer gang pure archer gang like me you are going to be rallying cities and you definitely want tommy Riss when you are rallying cities because of this skill very very helpful so if you're not really rallying cities i wouldn't really bother about tamiris instead so hopefully all these things in here can really help you out um you know playing with archer gang so the artemisia and constantine is i think is going to be much much better than an artemisia wutetian i think with that one it's just going to be insane um very very tanky march but you got to play with full infantry so are you really an archer gang at that point or maybe you're an infantry gang but that's one of the reasons why i am working with constantine and um trust me that that combination is gonna be insane now you may doubt me right now but um once i max constantine i will prove it to you that that's gonna be insane and um that attila and takeda will not stand a chance between us archer gangs and um slash infantry gangs <laughs> Um, now, if you are an archer gang, what I would really suggest for you with equipment is have some health, right? Have some health and as well as defense. So I have two sets of males in here, right? Uh, armor. I can either go for attack or I can either go for health in here. So it really depends on your situation base, like how much defense and health you have. What I would recommend is to really increase, increase your health and then as well as a few defense now should you worry too much with attack yes you want to increase your attack as well but varies on different commanders if i am playing with um ramses in here i'm not too much worried about defense i can increase my attack because ramses is already tanky if i'm playing with artemisia i definitely want to buff up my defense because i'm going to be playing into the garrison um, if I'm playing with Edward of Woodstock, I do slightly mix. I don't really focus a whole lot of health on Edward of Woodstock. This is why I put my health into Ramses. Unless if I'm really using Edward and not using Ramses, then I will switch to my best equipment. But if I'm using Ramses and I'm just using Edward of Woodstock as another march, um, I would focus on increasing Edward of Woodstock's defense because Edward already has an increase in health. So I'm not too worried about that anymore. 
So I need to increase the defense and attack with Edward of Woodstock. That's my suggestion. I mean, everybody have their own opinion, but that's what I like to do. But that's what I like to suggest to you guys, and that's how I think you guys are going to be successful. Um, one more thing in here. Who should you get Max to level 60? In the beginning, you should definitely get Yi Song Ye as level 60. As the time goes on, you're probably not going to be using Yi Song Ye. And you're going to start really using Edward and Ramses as a primary commander. The only reason you would want to use Yi Song Ye is if you want to cast that skill right away and just hide and seek with the enemies. So Artemisia as well, you want to get her to level 60 because of the talent tree. Um, Tomiris, I would not, would not recommend for you to get to level 60. I think it's really a waste. Now that we have another attack commander, which is Ramses, and I think that's just much better anyway as a primary commander leading than Tamiris. So if you're still confused, you can leave in the comment section below. I'll try to answer you guys there and um, good luck. I mean, being an archer gang is definitely the most difficult troop type in the entire Rise of Kingdoms game. I mean, second probably the siege gangs, but we don't talk about siege gangs anyway. Um, archer gangs is definitely much more difficult than cavs and infantry. Um, we're more squishier than the other marches and slower as well. So the question now is, why do you want to go for archers? Well, the reason why you want to go for archers is because it's more challenging first. And then second, it's really fun because the benefit of having the archers is that high damage. Okay, high damage. And now that they have built new commanders, tanky as well. Now, if you've tried Ramses and Artemisia, very tanky. Very, very tanky. I've actually even played with um, Artemisia as a primary with this, you know, build. It was tanky as well. Uh, I did Artemisia and YSG double AoE. Insane. Um, but with that being said, the most benefit that you get from being an archer gang is that the AoE, right? AoE, AoE is really, really nice and high skill damage. You have to be smart as an archer gang you can't be as careless as the infantry gang you know they just like to dive in and die um with archer gang you have to play with brains and be smart and you have to kind of blend in you have to let the infantry gangs you know go out there first and tank for you and you want to send the Cavs gang there to make a distraction with your unicorns and stuff and then you come in and what you do is to just pick them off what you need to do is target the weaker ones and eliminate them get free kills basically uh, let them do the dirty work for you being an archer gang archer gangs are the boss and those two units out there that are dying for you They're your slaves <laughs> But honestly archers have been being improved in here with rise of kingdoms They're getting a little bit tank here with high damage. So I'm really expecting in the future archers. It's gonna be even better um, Infantries cannot really stand archers in here um, keep in mind that the old richard and martel combination they're done or even with constantine and martel you can definitely attack it with your edward and Thomas if you're a whale and you're trying to rally you can do it now the only big difference is whoever has more t5 that's gonna create a big gap between your rallies so you have to understand when you're attacking somebody you have to understand how much t5 they actually have compared to you if everything is fair and even archers should definitely win no doubt but the biggest takeaway in here is artemisia and constantine so don't forget that suggestion that i have because one day it may be useful and once you're trying to search for the best pair combination you're gonna remember that i said that and you're gonna try it anyway rockers thanks for watching hopefully you guys succeed in the game i will see you again next time